Hey, hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. So this is a very real uh, morning me. I have no makeup on. I am, I'm working from home today, and so I woke up around like 7 and just kind of started right into work, um, which I don't normally do. I like to like work out and exercise. Sorry, my dog is going at it with a bone right now. Um, I like to exercise in the morning before I start anything, but today I kind of had like just the um, drive to just jump into work and start answering some emails and getting things going that way. So that's what I've been doing this morning, and so I am now just starting my little yoga workout. I like to do at least five minutes of yoga every day, at least. Um, but, you know, a few days a week I like to do more. A couple days a week I like to try and do at least a half hour to an hour of, of yoga. Just because I feel like I feel so good after I do yoga. Like, since I've been pregnant. Well, I always feel good after yoga. If you guys are new here, or maybe I, I don't know how if I've mentioned this, but I was a yoga instructor for years. Um, I just have kind of gotten busy with work the past couple years, so I haven't been teaching yoga as much, if any. But um, anyway, so I've always loved yoga. I do it every morning, like I said, for at least five minutes. But um, this morning I'm going to do just a 20 minute workout that I found on YouTube. I really enjoyed um, some of the, you know, yoga workouts I found just here on YouTube. So I will link the workout I'm doing below. So you guys can do it too, if you'd like. I've realized that I, enjoy prenatal specific yoga the most because I am pregnant and it just really caters to what I'm feeling and so I just I love it um so but you can definitely do it if you're not pregnant too of course um and yeah I'm in one of Eric's like old t-shirts because I have not gotten dressed or showered or anything yet today like I said I just started work right when I woke up and I've noticed that just sleeping in Eric's t-shirts has been the most comfortable thing. So that's what I do. And yeah, so we're going to jump right into some yoga. Hey, can you over so I can do some yoga? yoga I feel amazing I just love how yoga makes me feel connected to my body and my breath and with prenatal yoga they always like connect you to your baby and I just love it it's awesome so I feel really good now I'm gonna shower get ready possibly take Poe and Livy this other dog that we are babysitting my cousin's dog we have her for a couple weeks actually might take them to the park next door to us throw the ball around because they are wrestling and they're so hyper right now so I need to get some of their energy out. I might do that and then start working again. Okay you guys I wanted to show you this little outfit of the day. Um, I need a better mirror so that you guys can get a better idea of what I'm wearing but there's the bump. This is from Shop Pink Blush and it is so comfortable and so soft. Like I just oh, I don't know. I think it's cute. Definitely can definitely tell I'm pregnant. Um, and yeah, I just really like it. Basically, everything I've gotten from Shop Pink Blush is like so comfortable. Anyway, this is kind of what it looks like from this angle. Just so comfortable. And I love the color. I love this color of purple. Um, I'm gonna head out. I just have been working um, all throughout the afternoon and got some stuff done. Um, but I'm going to head out. I'm going to go run some errands because I would rather do that now and work later than like go out when it's just 
busy and crazy because it's the holiday season. So I'm gonna go run some errands because I gotta pick up a few last minute Christmas gifts because I have not been good about my Christmas shopping this year. But anyway, so um, I, I'm gonna go run errands now. Okay, you guys, I just went into Ulta um, to get, I needed a couple things and then um, I also wanted to pick up a couple things as Christmas gifts. I'm not gonna say who they're for because they may or may not watch this video. I don't know. Um, so I'm just gonna show you what I got real quick. I got a bunch of these. Um, what are these called? Beauty Blender sponges, whatever. Not, it's not Beauty Blender um, brand, but it's the L'Oreal brand and I think it's better than a Beauty Blender. I used to always buy Beauty Blenders and now I've switched completely over to this brand because it's just way better. Um, actually, I watched Jessica Braun here on YouTube, and she's the one that told me, that told me she <laughs> mentioned them in a video. And so I tried it, and I haven't gone back to Beauty Blender since. So I got a few of those because I wanted to give them to some people that I think will appreciate them. Um, and then I got um, a few makeup things that I was wanting. I'm just kind of sick of my makeup. I'm not sick of it. It's A lot of it is getting kind of old, and I needed to just spruce things up a bit um and I didn't want to spend a lot of money to be honest I just wanted to just try out a few things so just got some things from the drugstore section <laughs> of Ulta and I got some butter gloss this is my favorite gloss and this is in tiramisu I usually get the angel food cake one but I like that this one is a little bit more neutral not I don't know like nude kind of nude pink Angel Food Cake, that color is usually, well, it is a little bit more, like, pinky. And then I got a cream blush, NYX, um, this is Bright Idea Illuminating Stick, but I'm going to use it as a blush because it's, like, very pink. Um, I'm going to try that, and then I'm going to, I've had this before, this is, um, a soft matte lip cream. I had it, I think, in Stockholm, and this is the color Zurich. <laughs> so I'm going to try that because I do like their soft matte lip creams. The only thing about their the NYX Butter Gloss and lip creams and all that stuff is they don't last very long on your lips. And I also am a big lip sense user. I really like lipstick that does not move, and so I wear lip sense a lot. Um, but sometimes I just don't want to take all that time to put it on. Um, so because it doesn't last very long, I actually got um, a NYX um, lip pencil that's waterproof, and this one is in Nude Suede Shoes. So hopefully that will help to keep color on my lips, even if the gloss or the lip cream fades. And then the last thing I got was this Essence Make Me Glow, and here. And um, this looks a lot like the Benefit High Beam that I've used before, like a long time ago. Just like a liquid highlighter. And Essence is like super inexpensive. Um, I think this was like $2 on sale today. Normally like 4 maybe, but it's on sale for $2 today. So I'm going to try that out. Um, there's I really like I need to go through a lot of my makeup and throw stuff away because some of it I've had for like a few years. And I don't know how long makeup is supposed to last, but like I noticed some of my blush and stuff just doesn't work as well as it did when I first got it. And I think it's just because it's probably expired. So anyway, it's time to spruce that up. So I'm gonna run some more errands. One hour later. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to chat with you for a second. Um, I have been, you know, out running errands and I know it's the holidays and things are just busy, but I just, I hate how traffic gets crazy and people just get like rude and I'm trying really hard to be conscious of how I'm driving. I don't consider myself like an amazing driver or anything, but I just, I'm trying not to be like the jerks <laughs> that are out there. There's so many people and I want to assume the best in people, but some people are just, man, the holidays just bring out bad <laughs> bad drivers or I don't know maybe it's just it's so busy and so much there's so much traffic and so people just get like ah, anxious and crazy 
I don't know, the holidays are just such a weird time of year for what it can do to people's anxiety levels. And I'm not like an exception to that. I've definitely had my fair share of anxiety around the holidays. Um, and I, I, I've been thinking a lot this year about how like the holidays just suck when you are going through tough times. And for me, you know, the past few years for Eric and I, like dealing with infertility and stuff, has been rough and that's been a tough time for us. And so this year I just like, it's weird because I feel so happy. Like I'm on cloud nine some days. I'm just so happy that we're pregnant and I, it's just amazing. And then some days I just feel like, oh, like this sad pit in my stomach, like remembering how sucky the holidays were. And I didn't mean to cry, but I just, especially going through infertility, like that was the hardest time of the year was the holidays. And last year actually wasn't that bad. Last year, um, we had scheduled our IVF consultation. We were going to start IVF right after the holidays. So I did feel like there was a lot more like hope, um, uh, during that time, but, and like a little excitement even. Oh man, so for those of you who are still in the thick of it, um, I am thinking about you, I know exactly how you feel, and if I think about it too much, I obviously start crying because I know how crappy it is. And like for anyone going through hard times during the holidays, like when you're dealing with something crappy it makes it way worse during the holidays. So I, I really hope that whoever is watching this, that you'll find a little ounce of hope that things will get better and that the holidays can also like bring that hope. Like for me, I celebrate the birth of Christ and I, you know, with that, religious belief, we believe that he brings a lot of hope to our mortal life because of what will come after this life. So anyway, um, so the holidays can definitely bring a lot of hope. So I really hope that, um, no matter what you're going through this year, that you'll be able to find hope and peace, um, this holiday season. And I hope that we can all remember, um, to take time and just enjoy what the holidays are. It's not the hustle and bustle. It's not the presents. It's not, um, you know, I don't want to be cliche and list all the things, but uh, you know, it's about time with family and time with those you love. And I'm so grateful that I have been able to already spend so much time with family and, you know, have some things coming up that will be able to spend even more time with family and, all the people that we really care about in our lives. So anyway, I'm sorry to like get going <laughs> with the tears, but I don't know. It's just this time of year is just weird for a lot of us. For most people, I think, um, it can be tough in certain ways to a certain degree for everyone. So just know that I am with you in those feelings and I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas because I probably won't be posting another video until after Christmas so and maybe not even until the after the new year so if not happy new year as well but <laughs> I hope to get a video up before the end of the year so anyway I'm gonna go into Trader Joe's pick up a few things and maybe I'll show you what I get all right guys I've got my Trader Joe's haul here. There's two bags, bags. And I honestly feel like something may have broken because I'm hearing weird glass sounds, but we'll see. Okay, real quick, we'll go through green beans for a dinner that I'd like to make next week. Green onions, broccoli. I'm thinking I'm going to make some broccoli cheese soup. So I got some chicken broth for that as well. Um, 
I got some balsamic glaze. I didn't even really check the ingredients in this, but I was hoping it wasn't a bunch of sugar. I don't think it is. Um, but I've been thinking of doing like just a balsamic glazed chicken. Got some balsamic um, vinegar because we don't have any right now. And then I got an orange. We're making orange chicken tonight, so I had to get some ingredients for that. Um, a lime, or pff, a lime. Orange and some limes. Kiwi. Dolmas, which if you have not tried dolmas, you need to try them. They're really good. They're kind of weird, but they're delicious. They're like um, rice, brown rice wrapped in grape leaves. It's good. <coughs> Got some soy sauce because we were out. I really like coconut aminos, but Eric does not. So when we make something together, like orange chicken tonight, he's gonna want soy sauce. So I had to get more of that. We're about out of the rice wine vinegar, so I had to get. Excuse me, indigestion is real with this pregnancy. Burping a lot. I'm just like, yeah. Um, a chomp because. I just like these little jerkies and I keep them in my purse when I'm on the go so I don't get too hungry. Um, I got this uh, wood fired pizza. Um, it looks really good. It has red bell pepper, provolone, and pearl mo mozzarella cheese. Looks really good. Um, vegetable fried rice. Nice to have on hand. Probably could eat it with our chicken tonight, orange chicken, which this recipe is better than um, the Panda Express orange chicken, I think. It's also better than the orange chicken that I bought frozen from Trader Joe's that everyone loves. That's pretty good, but Eric didn't like it like at all, so we just like our homemade orange chicken. It's just a BuzzFeed tasty recipe. I can link it below. Um, and then vegetable medley. This is this is good, you guys. It's like buttery and delicious. These roasted potatoes are my absolute favorite. I will just put these in a little baking dish with some meatballs from Costco, those like Italian meatballs, and just eat meatballs and th these potatoes for dinner. For dinner. It's so good. Um, baby carrots and this jasmine rice. This is just nice to have on hand. I think tonight, since we're home and we have time, we'll make our own, not our own, but we'll make rice instead of using that. So that's it. That's what we got from Trader Joe's for the next couple weeks or so. I only go to Trader Joe's like once or twice a month, so most of my shopping I do elsewhere. Probably go to Trader Joe's once a month, Costco once a month, and then I just like go to my local grocery store and pick up things once a week or so. So that's it. Okay, you guys, I am so tired. I had to run back to the grocery store just down the street to pick up oil because for this orange chicken, we have to fry it in oil. It's literally the only time we ever use like regular oil. We usually use like um, coconut oil and everything, but with this orange chicken recipe, Eric likes it in oil, regular, whatever, canola oil, which I know isn't the best. But anyway, so I'm just so done. I'm done with running errands. I'm done with the day. I just want to eat dinner, chill, finish up work. I have, um, I do a lot of video edi editing for work. And um, so I have a few projects that need to be done this week. So I gotta get my booty into gear, finish up those projects tonight. So I'm out, you guys. I'm done for today. I hope you have an awesome, awesome night. Um, or whenever you're watching this, I hope you just have a wonderful day. Maybe you're watching this on Christmas Eve or, you know, right around Christmas. And so I wish you a very Merry Christmas. Thank you so much for being a subscriber here. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!